Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Serene and my channel is called Dress Yourself Happy. Today is another Tester Tuesday first impression review on a new foundation. Today I have the Hourglass Vanish Foundations. This is pretty new to the market and I am also going to be testing out the brush that they recommend you use the foundation with. With all of my Tester Tuesday first impression foundation reviews, I use my vlog camera for the application and check-ins throughout the day because it gives you a really true to life natural light for most of the day as well as like super ultra HD so you guys can really see how the product is wearing at the end of the night I will do my final check-in with my final thoughts on who I think this product is geared towards I have been getting a lot of questions about my equipment as well as my foundation shades all of that information will be in the frequently asked questions section of my blog and I will have that link in the description box as well it's always in the description box and I always try to update you with my foundation shades as well as my equipment so hopefully that page will help you guys out and yeah let's get started Okay, I'm very excited to try out this new foundation from Hourglass. I actually have never tried any of the Hourglass foundations. I love their Veil Primer, as you know if you've been watching my channel. I, it's my go-to primer. I also really love their concealer under the eyes. I haven't had it in a while, but I think it's a great dupe for the very expensive Clay to Poe concealer. And it's just as good, but a little bit more affordable because I think it's more around $40 instead of $70 nine eighty dollars they say double the amount of pigment versus traditional foundations for instant full coverage formulated to adjust to your body temperature to blend into the skin for the smoothest most seamless finish 12 hour long wear waterproof formula that's very exciting and available in 26 shades now they do have a very specific way of applying this and they do recommend using it with the veil primer and I'm gonna do what I typically do which is use half of my face with primer the other half without just to see how the product wears in case you don't have the primer at home some other results were a hundred percent reported vanish was fast and easy to use 97% reported vanish covered redness and skin imperfections 94% reported vanish covered skin discoloration pores blemishes and dark under eye circles so I'm actually going to use it under my eyes and see how it works and then 90% reported vanish covered hyperpigmentation and dark spots based on a one-week consumer study of 31 women it's not a lot of women but good to know I'm going to prep the right side of my face with the veil primer and you guys I have been having some issues with my primer I don't know what's going on but when I pump it it like squirts everywhere so I don't know if I got a <laughs> baby <laughs> he's like laughing at me he's working behind me on his computer <laughs> and he's like so perverted <laughs> he's like laughing the problem is it's like white too so <laughs> I'm sorry. Those of you that are younger, just ignore us. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, babe. That's so wrong. I have redness here. And I have a little blemish that pretty much went away already because I used the blue light last night. Like, if I do a full pump, it's just a mess and it literally, like, gets everywhere. I'm not going to use the S word. Cause someone is 12 over there <laughs> they say to dot it I think that's a good match it will be so I'm gonna just dot it like that and they say start with less and then you can build it up I'm gonna go in with this brush huh color match is great warm ivory is perfect for my slightly tanner self Definitely need more coverage on my cheeks because I'm very red today. We're just gonna let's go for a full coverage. Wow, I really like this half my face is covered and the other half isn't but it just blended flawlessly into my skin and it really gave me a lot of coverage without feeling heavy like I don't feel anything on my face right now and it just 
like I don't feel like I have to powder immediately I don't feel like it's slipping and sliding it just looks really nice I am doing this earlier in the day so my lighting is a little bluer versus later on I will obviously show you a natural light in afternoon light as well as like evening light I feel like that looks a little different in my building so whoa I'm very happy with this so I'm gonna go into this side with no primer just to see how it works and keep using this brush um I might try my fingers actually let's try my fingers in case you guys don't have a brush like this okay you can definitely use your fingers but I don't really like it you can use your fingers if you don't have a brush but I'm gonna go in and kind of buff it a little bit more with the brush and you could probably get away with just a regular kabuki foundation brush if you don't have the funds to buy the hourglass one but this hourglass brush is really soft so I kind of like it super close up I'm really happy with this foundation so obviously I will wear this I'm gonna put on the rest of my makeup I'll wear this for the whole day doing check-ins throughout the day with my final thoughts at the end of the day we'll see you in a few seconds for you a few hours for me okay guys so I just finished the rest of my makeup and I think it's one what time is it it's 12:53. yeah um, I really love the full coverage that this gave me it looks a little light in this light because I'm so tan right here, but it really matched my face color. I feel like it looks really good and flawless. Like, just look how nice my pores look. And it really covered a lot of my redness, a lot of the little, like, minor discoloration I had on my skin. Um, I have a lot of, like, freckling down here, and it covered a little bit of it, but obviously when I zoom you in super close, you guys can see it, which is still okay, because I don't ever wanna look um, like a flat doll. If that makes sense so this looks pretty good so between the two sides this side looks smoother with the primer this side doesn't look quite as smooth you can see it's a little bumpier so definitely use a primer okay guys it is now 2 18 so oh it's only really been like an hour and 18 minutes but I thought I'd do a check-in because I really like how my makeup looks I really like the side that is primed though versus the side that's non-primed. Like you can totally see a difference in coverage, texture, and just wearability. So yeah, non-primed, primed. So I'm gonna grab some lunch. My lip gloss is all over my face and I will be back in a few more hours. 6.30, I've had the foundation on for five and a half hours and we're going to dinner. There's a lot of people right now. <laughs> oh no! Okay. I'll or let's go down and use it because it's on the same anyway. Yeah. Um. So let's get some good lighting. Wait, hold on. Okay, this is good. I really like the coverage. I think it's a full coverage, but it still looks nice. Like it doesn't look cakey and it's wearing really nicely. I've actually been sweating quite a bit. I really like it. I think it looks really good. It's wearing really nicely, like right here. It looks good on my pores. This is the prime side and I like the prime side more still versus the non-primed, but in natural light, the non-primed looks pretty good too. Um, yeah, it's wearing really well. I'm pretty impressed coverage is still really good I actually think it looks nicer now than it did when I first applied it and the color match is really good too so I will check in in a few more hours we're gonna go get dinner okay after dinner it's like 8 o'clock right now um, <clears throat> 7.50 to be exact I think it looks good my nose is a little shiny though is it shiny in real life uh, no. it's actually not shiny at all oh I wonder why I look shiny in the viewfinder. I don't know. But Hub says I'm not shiny at all. So, I really like it. Although, why does my skin have bumps? Do you think that's from like just something else? Mm, it looks like you got bit. Something bit you. I like it. Mm -hmm. And considering I just ate a ton of food, it's wearing really well because apparently I'm a messy eater. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay guys, it is 8.30, so this has been on for eight and a half hours, and this is my final check-in, doing a close-up. Is now 9 p.m. in the evening. I've had the foundation on for a full eight hours, and I have to say I really, really love the finish and the wear time of this foundation. For me, the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation is a better full coverage foundation than the Urban Decay All Nighter that I tested out last week. The Urban Decay All Nighter is really heavy duty, and it's perfect if you're going to be in a very hot, humid, wet climate. Whereas this one, even though it says it's waterproof, I feel like it's a little bit more of a natural finish, but still offering a lot of coverage. I think it applies really easily. I think the color matching is a lot easier to work with and a little bit more forgiving. There was no oxidization. There wasn't any color difference from swatching it and like it going on darker. A lot of people were saying that the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation would go on darker than swatched. But I kind of feel like that means it oxidized, which I have heard happens with that one as well. So overall, I'm very, very happy with it wearing a long time, controlling my oils, and it also offering a lot of coverage. I was sweating for a little bit of my afternoon. I prefer it with a primer. Now I'm, I'm actually having a minor breakout on my face right now. I don't think it's from the foundation because if I was gonna have a breakout, it would happen on the side that didn't have the primer. I think my skin was already a little irritated and red this morning from some skincare I was trying out and having makeup on all day added to the irritation. So I'll update you guys on that, but it, I really don't believe that it's the foundation making my skin break out. I think it's from the um, masks I was trying out yesterday. I, I have this problem where I wanna try everything at once and I know better. I typically try to only do one new product every two nights, but that can be even too much sometimes. So in terms of coverage, in terms of wearability, in terms of packaging, I think it gets an A+. I think the packaging is really sleek, really compact, and as lightweight as possible. I love that you can twist it up, but you also can twist it down and there's no waste of product. I think it's a great product to kind of keep in your makeup kit, especially for traveling because this isn't a liquid foundation. You could definitely carry this on and not have any issues. You are going to get 0.25 ounces, which is a very, very small amount of product, but a little goes a long way, so hopefully that will balance out the longevity of this product. I'll let you guys know how long this actually lasts me because I am gonna try and wear it. I think it's very versatile because you can definitely just do a little bit and blend it out for a more natural light to medium coverage, or you can build it up to a full coverage. I like the brush that they recommend you use it with, but I don't think it's absolutely necessary. I think it's nice to have. The brush is super soft. I like that it's slightly tapered, so it's really easy to blend, and I think it blends the product out very beautifully. You can, of course, use a more affordable option or something that you might already have in your kit. I would look for a densely packed short bristled foundation or kabuki brush in your kit if you already have it try that out before purchasing this one i did use my fingers on the left side of my face and that offers a very nice natural finish as well i personally don't like to apply things with my fingers um when it's all over my face i rather use a brush or a blunt beauty blender when possible i do recommend using a primer i really like the veil primer in conjunction with this vanish stick foundation um, in terms of oil, oily girls, I do think you're going to need a mattifying primer if you are super, super oily. I do think you might need to blot and touch up your powder throughout the day, but the product is still going to stay there. So your sweat, your oils won't erase the product, but it will break through halfway through the day. If you're super dry, I think this might be better for you than the Urban Decay All Nighter because the Urban Decay All Nighter can have a little bit of a drying tendency and might cling to severe dry patches. I didn't find that to be a huge issue, but I did read some of my comments and some of you guys had that problem. I feel like this this one just glides on really smoothly. It gives you a really nice natural finish, but full coverage, whereas the Urban Decay All Nighter was a full coverage matte foundation. So that's the difference. When I reviewed
review these products, I always let you guys know what the finish is because the finish is very important and what you're looking for and your skin type. Color match was great, warm ivory, it works really well for my skin tone. I am anywhere from MAC NC 25 to 30. I haven't checked in a while. I'm very happy with this foundation. I do recommend it. I think this is great for those of you guys who are a little bit more on the drier side looking for a buildable full coverage foundation that's long lasting and waterproof. I did not jump into the pool or do any crazy workouts today, so I don't know how waterproof it really is, but I can tell you it is going to withstand a pretty hot, sweaty day. There's no flashback to this product because there is no SPF, but I will insert the photos just so you guys can see flash and no flash. I think the closest thing I can compare this to is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation stick. It's very similar in consistency, buildability, and coverage. I believe this one is waterproof though and that one isn't. This is also cruelty free. Makeup Forever is not. Both are easy to travel with. I typically like stick foundations. I don't know why I don't try more of them, but I really do enjoy stick foundations because they're so easy to use. You just dot, dot it on, blend it out, and you're good to go. I think I covered everything. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section. I do my best to answer all of the questions as quickly as possible. If I miss you though, don't forget to um, check out my Twitter or my Snapchat. Ask me stuff there. I check that a little bit more frequently as I go on through my day. I'm on there a lot. It's getting a little bit harder for me to make sure I respond to every single comment in my videos, but I do try. I really, really do try. So I really appreciate every single comment. If you tried this foundation, I would love to know your thoughts. As always, my opinion is just mine. My skin type is mine and skin type and preference of product is very, very specific to each person. I try to give you the most information for you to make a decision, but I think the comment section is a great place to build a community, to share our experiences and our knowledge with each other so that we can really have an amazing resource. So it's a great place for us to communicate and share knowledge and I just love that about YouTube. If you're new to my channel, um, I am so happy you're watching till the end. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. And I hope my video helped motivate and inspire you to look and feel your best from the outside in. That's why I started my channel. It's why I love YouTube. It's why I found YouTube. And if that speaks to you, I'm really happy you found me. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, whatever you're doing. And I will see you tomorrow for Love It or Leave It Wednesdays. Bye. Tester Tuesday first impression foundation review and I have the new Hourglass 